Its eyes are like something from a Batman movie. Its feeding tentacles shoot out of its mouth like birthday party blowers. Its blood is bluish green and its ink is black. Scientists believe that these amazing animals have a complicated system of communicating with each other, including the use of dozens of different body patterns. Making the cuttlefish even stranger is the fact that it's not even a fish, but a mollusk. Who named this animal anyway? A cuttlefish has an internal shell called a cuttlebone. The scientists classify it as a mollusk. Perhaps the most amazing feature of cuttlefish is their ability to blend into their surroundings. Cuttlefish have been said to have the world's best camouflage skills. Cuttlefish have the ability to change the texture of their skin to mimic the shape of certain barnacle-encrusted rocks or corals. What if we could do that? These mollusks can move their entire bodies into a variety of positions. For example, while swimming next to large seaweed, cuttlefish can mimic the grass's motion by positioning and waving their eight arms in a similar way that the seaweed sways in the water. This makes it very difficult for both attackers and possible prey to know exactly where the cuttlefish is. In a study a few years ago, scientists placed horizontal and vertical stripes on the walls of different cuttlefish tanks. How did the cuttlefish react? These creatures spread their bodies out horizontally when in the horizontally lined tanks, and they raised at least one arm vertically when in the vertically lined tanks. But what must annoy predators more than anything is the cuttlefish's ability to change color and to do so so quickly. A cuttlefish can change the color of its entire body in the blink of an eye. If this mollusk wants to change to red, it sends signals to its pigment sacs to change to red. A cuttlefish can hide from other sea life by changing to the color of the sand or seaweed. It can also appear as a strobe light, quickly blinking on and off, likely to confuse predators. So extraordinary are these masters of camouflage, as some have called them, that government researchers have even looked into the possibility of copying cuttlefish camouflage for use in the military. Researchers are enamored with how cuttlefish achieve their quick and convincing camouflage. Nevertheless, the researchers admit it's highly unlikely that anyone could achieve that same level of camouflage. Scientists find it difficult mimicking the color matching abilities of the cuttlefish as well as its texture matching ability. In fact, no one knows exactly how cuttlefish match their backgrounds so effectively, especially since experiments have shown that cuttlefish don't look at their skin to check how well it matches the background. What's more, if, as some scientists believe, this animal is colorblind, only seeing in shades of green, how does it always choose the color most helpful, like changing to the color of sand when on the ocean floor? Cuttlefish are remarkable creatures. Evolutionists have called the animal a genius. Researchers admit that cuttlefish are sophisticated, intelligent, tailor-made creatures with a secret code. Yet evolution is often the very first word many think of to explain the existence of the cuttlefish. But how can intelligence arise from non-intelligence? How can something tailor-made have no tailor? No one would suggest that Morse code is the product of time and chance, yet some evolutionists uh, would have us believe that the cuttlefish's secret code is the product of millions of years of mindless accidents. The fact is, naturalistic evolution cannot rationally explain the cuttlefish. The real code giver, the intelligent designer who tailor-made the cuttlefish, is God. As the psalmist proclaimed, this great and wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things, both small and great, O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all.